Good day trainers and welcome back to another episode of Poker Tips. It's Swablu Community Day and it's a chill event because I'm in no rush because I have a checklist. It is a list that you can copy so you can use it to your heart's content and focus on just having fun. There's no fear of missing out of worrying whether you forgot something because it's a checklist. And with this 10 item checklist, nine of which that can be completed within the first 15 minutes of the day leaving you the rest of the event to focus on just having fun today is super chill in fact during this community day i actually did housework I plucked some papayas and also played with the neighborhood cat. That's right, that cat makes me feel like Giovanni. I'm in no rush because I have a checklist. And on this checklist, item number one is to check the social media posts and also your local WhatsApp group. It also tells you what are the rewards for different quests are like. Is it worth it to purchase the event pass for the day? You can also learn what sort of IVs to look out for other than just hundos for the great leagues and ultra leagues what are the best moves and which leagues can this pokemon join in ultra league great league or will it make it in the master league well for swablu master league is out of question item number two using the information from other trainers you can decide which pokestops to look for like today there's a pokestop quest that says catch three swablu for 20 mega energy that is so you can spin Pokestops to look out for that special quest, saving you a lot of time and effort. Item number three, make sure you have a great buddy or better with you to hit butt some of the Pokeballs that you miss throw, saving you a lot of time and Pokeballs. This is especially important if you are playing from home. Item number four, head to the Poke Shop and see what deals they have there. They are free stuff, giving you some Pokeballs especially when you're playing from home that you need extra balls that is a place to go when you run out of pokeball and if you like to purchase event pass or premium items by all means go ahead now in general i have a personal rule if a game any game screws up something i just don't buy anything for that week that's just my way of not eating or not ordering from a restaurant that screwed up your last order if you ordered fries and then they send you salads and then you paid for it and then going back there again is just uh. item number five mega evolving a relevant pokemon to catch the pokemons for that day community day will give you extra candy now in today's swap blue community day it's flying and normal so a mega lupini or mega charizard y which is flying type will help but i'm going with a mega pigeon Item number six, check with the professor to see if there's a free time research for the day. Or if you paid the event pass, I look under special. Strangely, there isn't a free time event for today, Swablu Community Day, which also happened in the last community day. Hmm, I wonder if I'm on the right team. Love you, yeah. All right, see you item number seven depending on the event use your incubator star piece or lucky egg in general for stardust events we use star pieces for xp events like today we like to use lucky eggs more item number eight on your checklist should be to take five pictures of pokemons which will get photobomb by their community days pokemon for that day giving you five more extra catches item number nine is to trigger your ultra and best friends of course you coordinate with them earlier but a lot of them can be strangers it is best to trigger them 15 minutes into the event if the other party forgotten to put it on 15 minutes into the event usually it's fair time but please don't be a dick and trigger it at right one second right into the start of the event so after completing the nine items on your checklist enjoy the rest of the day you might want to use more lucky eggs it's entirely up to you i am running a competition to see who caught the heaviest shiny swap blue for today on my twitter and facebook account 
As of filming this video, the heaviest right now is two and a half kilograms shiny swab loop. The winner gets a 25 US dollar Google Play voucher. You can actually check on my Twitter to see the past winners. These are real trainers from all over around the world. And trainers, this competition ends 7 p.m. Alaska time. So by the time this video goes up, you still have a chance. Guys, I have a hundo swab loop which I'm gonna evolve right now. Hey, by the way, Katy Perry released a new song called Electric, which features Pikachu as her buddy, replacing her previous buddy called Orlando Bloom. That's right. Before he evolved into Orlando Bloom, he was an elf. And thanks to a stone like this, yes, a diamond. That's right. A diamond evolved him into what it is today. I am ready to mega evolve this guy, uh, this lady, into a mega Alteria. I evolved to thanks to a stone like this. I have a special move called cleaning, which takes me a whole day to charge. And with that trainers, I will see you in the next episode with the announcement of the heaviest shiny Swablu. Thanks for watching.